Hey folks, Adam from BC Fig Farm and Fruit Orchard, and today is July 21st, 2023, about 10 in the morning, and it is a gorgeous morning out. The sun is shining through, the weather's just beautiful, and it's just great to be a figaholic in Bergen County, New Jersey. So in our last video, we covered our in-ground fig trees in the back orchard area way back in the orchard and I showed you the progress from the dieback that we had last year and what was producing figs, what wasn't producing figs, how many trees have that we thought died, which was only a couple, but we're waiting for figs from those trees in the back orchard area. Today's topic is going to be on our container plants. Now, if you're deciding to put plants in the ground or deciding to grow fig trees in containers, um, you know, after all my experiments, uh, you know, I'd have to say that the container method in Zone 6B in Bergen County, New Jersey is probably your best bet, especially for all of my friends who have purchased trees from me who, keep, who only have one or two trees. Um, you know, they're really giving them fruit already. They're growing. They're in containers. They're fertilizing them properly. They're changing the soil. They're root pruning every couple years, and, and their trees are really successful. Um, when you start to get into the 50 to 100 to, you know, three to 500 trees, um, you know, the container method is probably the best method for producing mass amounts of figs. And we're going to go around and show you uh, some of our container figs, as you can see here, that we had in the garage this winter, how much more advanced they are than the in-ground um, fig trees, where those in-ground fig trees are only giving us little figlets now, and our container plants are almost giving us figs for the year. I'm going to say by We'll probably get our first figs by August 1st, and we'll really get an abundance of figs between August 20th and September 20th. We'll get probably the majority of figs all the way until uh, November. But anyway, here's some of our uh, container figs that we took out of the garage that were in a heated environment that we fertilized with uh, Osmocote this year. Um, they're doing very well, as you can see. The leaves are doing well. We have tons of figs growing on the trees. And this is our beautiful Figo Preto from Portugal. You can see how well it's doing in a container. Uh, I advise everybody who has one or two trees, you know, especially tr guys that from my job that bought trees from me, you know, just keep them in containers. Um, as they grow, um, I'm gonna show you the, my biggest container in a little bit, one of my favorite trees. Uh, just get a bigger container for it and you'll have a, a lot of figs. I, I get about 100 figs on a large container fig tree. So uh, moving on, another, great container fig tree that we have here that we've grown over the winter time and this is our California black mission this is uh, a standard fig uh, that they use for mass production in California um, as you can see uh, they're medium-sized figs uh, they use them for all sorts of things but you know when you go to the store Acme ShopRite farmers markets you know it's mainly uh, gonna be black mission figs from California that they're selling you and they're always under ripe because they can't ship them ripe because they'll go bad but that's the fig that you're eating, and I don't like to eat them from the store, so I'm going to grow my own Black Mission figs and let them um, get nice and soft and juicy and then eat them that way. Uh, our next tree we have here, I believe, is our Adriatic JH, and this is a great tree to have. As you can see, we have tons of figs on it. Just for a 24 to 36-inch container fig tree, uh, we, we already have 25 figs this year on this tree. When it gets to be 5 feet, we're going to have 100 figs every season so think about it if you had like me uh you know if you have 10 container fig trees out right now and you've had you know 100 figs per container tree after five foot each you, you know you're going to get a thousand figs for that summer which is a great production for a um a an enthusiast at home a fig enthusiast okay let's see what we got here next we have the kadota fig these kadota figs are beautiful what a beautiful fig tree look at this tree the leaves are just beautiful. A little bit of a furry touch to them, but a great tree. And uh, as I move around, you can see the production of the figs. There's just so many figs that this tree is producing this year. And I can't wait because it's my first year. I grew this from a cutting. Uh, and it's my second year that it's growing. So we get, we're getting figs our second year uh, after growing this from a cutting. Last year we didn't get any figs. We're in the growth period, but now we're going to get figs. Another beautiful 
specimen, uh, large leafed fig tree. I love these leaf patterns. You can tell the difference in the trees by the different leaf patterns, uh, the different texture, the different colors. Uh, it's just beautiful. And right here is our Brunswick fig tree. And again, if I pick up these leaves, you can see all the big figs that are growing on our Bruns Brunswick fig tree. And it rained this morning. That's why there's water on all the figs. I didn't water them. Uh, I put downpour this morning, which is good because now for the next week, it's going to be in the 80s and I'm not going to water any of these and they're really going to grow and produce and start producing sugars in the figs and everything like that. Uh, another container fig tree that we have out here uh, that we're growing is our Celeste. What a great tree. I mean, this Celeste tree is not only producing leaves and growing, but you can see on the inside how many figs. It's such a good producer. Um, I love watching Lou Monty's videos uh, from South Jersey on how he talks about the Celeste tree. Uh, and it's such a constant producer. And, and that that's what made me purchase one of these cuttings and grow Celeste trees because it's it's one of the top producers and one of the one of the best tasting figs uh, that you can have in you know zone 6b in New Jersey. Let's move over here. Another great fig that I grew. I got this cutting from Figaholics uh, from Harvey. Syrian honey. This uh, fig tree is from Syria. And uh, we only this is the second year growing. I only see one fig, but I would imagine that next year uh, this tree is really going to produce some nice Syrian honey figs um, once it's in its third year. Uh, it was a slow grower this year. It looks like it's doing pretty well now. But next year, I think we're going to get the production of figs from what I can see. Uh, we have another one over here. Oh, this is going to be our reliable. And I have so many of these. I have about probably five or ten of these because I love them. They're constant producer, medium sweet fig. Chicago Hardy uh, was said to be brought in by uh, Mount Etna Fig from Italy uh years ago many years ago but it's just a constant producer of figs and this is only one year old this is what i got the first year i grew this as a cutting from uh this winter i started as a cutting and as you can see in one year i already have almost 36 inches of growth on it and it is a beautiful tree and it's just going to keep growing i know i'm not getting any figs from this tree this year because it's in its growth period the first year it's just in its growth period the second year you will get figs Third year, definitely, you'll, you'll get a double fig production. But that's another uh, container tree that I keep. I keep uh, about five or ten in case anybody wants to purchase any. Or, uh, you know, it's your standard fig tree. So, But I also like to eat these figs. So, uh, Moving around, we're going to go around and we're going to check out some of our cuttings also before we get to some more container fig trees that we grew this year. So all, all the little plants that, you, that you, I'm going to show you now in the little one-gallon containers, they are um, cuttings that I grew uh, this winter from the trees in the back. So in case they died, I wanted to take cuttings of all of my trees so that if they died, I would have, I would have another tree. I wouldn't have to go purchase one. So these are just all my cuttings that I took. Uh, little one gallon containers and I like to keep them out here. This is the first year of growth and as you can see they're all still small um, but some of them are growing faster than others and some of them are growing slower. That's uh, part of the fig genetics just like humans. Uh, so we'll just have to be patient and see what our strong fig trees are, our strong producers and that's it. This is our Violet, Violet de Normandy. That's our, I took a cutting of the Violet de Normandy in the back. That's one of my favorite fig trees. It's delicious. And of course we, this is a great grower. Vasilica Sica again. That's another one. I have one over there. I have another one here. Look how one year growth already. Look at that cutting from this winter. It's already 12 inches or probably 24 inches. Another good grower right here. I believe this is our uh, LSU Champagne again. Another great grower right there, uh, fig tree. And moving on. Moving over here to some more container fig trees. We're going to go over some of these. Let's see what we have here. We have some cuttings I grew 
Look at all the flowers coming in. The cuttings I grew from the winter time. Okay. Now this one right here, that's gonna be a brown turkey fig tree that I had in the ground. It was in a wet area. And remember I told you the fig trees can't be that wet. It was dying. So I ripped it out and guess what? It's growing again. And this is gonna be a, it already has a thick root system, already has a thick trunk, as you can see, two inch trunk, but it's growing. And as soon as the sun comes out, it's gonna grow nice and big. And uh, we're gonna have another big brown turkey fig tree again, okay? And here's another cutting that I grew right there. Okay, this is another cutting that I transplanted right here. Some more fig trees that I'm growing in containers. And next year, these are gonna be really good producers, but this year they're just cuttings from the winter time. I took these from the trees in the back and they're doing very well. Some are doing better than others, as you can see right here. Some are growing pretty quick and some aren't. Okay, on to our last container fig tree right here. And as you can see uh, in our next video, we are gonna talk about air layering, our fig trees. Ah, uh, but this is our Italian 258. I'll show you the container size we're up to for this one. So this one is about almost seven feet tall in the air and you can see the container I bought from Home Depot beautiful container for the patio but this is the size container that you're going to need if you want to produce you know 100 to 250 figs in one one fig tree this Italian fig tree I'm just going to show you there's about five or six large figs on each node at the end of each but look at the size of these look at how beautiful these luscious figs are and uh, they're just producing very well the leaf pattern is beautiful. This one on here, I have about one, two, three, four, five, six on this one right there, and they're all large, six or seven. And you can see every single node on this tree has some large figs as I go around and I show you these. So we can't wait. So a tree this size, we're getting, uh, we'll get a hundred figs out of this tree this year. And it's just a beautiful fig tree. and. As you can see, I started the air layering process. Our next video is going to be on how to air layer your fig trees uh, and why I'm air layering with so many air layers on this fig tree. Um, but we'll go over that in our next video. And our last one, we have another beautiful Chicago hardy right here that I'm growing again. Um, and brown turkeys. I have Chicago hardies and brown turkeys. They're great producers. They're, they're a steady fig for New Jersey. But anyway... Just wanted to go over my some of my container fig trees. Uh, as you can see in the back, there's some more container fig trees, uh, but we went over them during the in-ground fig tree process. So um, this is Adam, BC Fig Farm and Fruit Orchard, signing off. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for going over some of our in-ground fig trees. Again, I advise everybody in Zone 6B, Bergen County, New Jersey, to keep your fig trees in containers. Uh, and if you want a lot of figs, you'll do multiple containers. But look at this beautiful Italian 258 specimen in front of me. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous fig tree. Anyway, our next video will be on air layering, so stay tuned.